In an era long past, as monarchies weaken, local feudal lords grew in power. The first knights simply protected their lords' domains. However, with the reforms of the late 11th century, knights became protectors of the peace. They valued courage and honor, fighting heretics and heathens in God's name. In this age, one company of knights was said to be invincible due to two men. Leon Belmont, a courageous man who feared nothing and whose combat abilities were second to none. And Matthias Kronqvist, a genius tactician whose learning made him an exception in a largely illiterate society. They trusted each other completely and they were bound by an old friendship. However, sorrow awaited Matthias upon his return from a victorious campaign. It was news of the sudden death of his beloved wife, Elisabetta. Matthias' grief was profound, and he became bedridden. A year has passed since then. Thanks to Leon's efforts, their company remains proudly undefeated. However, a mysterious army of monsters suddenly appears in Leon's domain. The Crusades are raging in the east, and since the church is focusing on fighting heathens rather than monsters, it has forbidden unauthorized battles. Leon wants permission to sortie, but the church has no intention of granting it. One night, Matthias struggles from his sickbed and tells Leon that the appearance of the monsters is tied to a vampire who has a castle in the forest called Eternal Night and that Leon's betrothed, Sarah, has been kidnapped and brought to that castle. Leon realizes that he must renounce his title to rescue his beloved. The forest is swollen with darkness, as if it would rob away everything, and only moonlight provides a ray of hope. A great legend is about to begin. What just happened? I felt something strange. Ah, he must really like you. You won't be able to leave now. Who's there? Now, don't get so excited. I'm just an old man. I just came to gawk at the man crazy enough to come here. You don't seem like a monster. <laughs> of course not. What is your name? Leon. Leon. You're not Baron Leon Belmont. Just Leon Belmont. I have given up my title. And you, old man? Pardon me, Lord Belmont. My name is Rinaldo Gandolfi. You can call me Leon, and I will call you Rinaldo. 
Don't call me Lord. We're equals now. As you wish. Now, please follow me to my cottage. I want to talk to you. Wait here a moment. There's something I want to give you. Ronaldo, can I ask you something? What is it? Why are you living in a place like this? I have unfinished business with Walter Bernhard, the master of this forest. Unfinished business? Not worth mentioning. I owe him. Well, I won't ask any more, but you're not in danger living so close to him? It seems eternal life is extremely boring. He enjoys playing at cat and mouse with the hunters that come here. Though, of course, there's no way that he could ever lose. He thinks that um, my helping hunters makes the game more... fun. I see. But what do you mean by there being no way he could lose? Vampires are loved by the night, and this forest is locked in eternal darkness. He has never been defeated. Well, that may be so, but I must go ahead and face him. Did he... take someone precious? Yes, he abducted my betrothed. How did you know that? It's what he always does when he starts the game. You came unarmed. Your courage astonishes me. I do have a weapon, just not my sword. That belongs to the company, and I left it behind when I gave up my title. <laughs> Honest to a fault. I heard that many hunters have met their end here. If that's the case, getting weapons shouldn't be hard. Take this with you. It will help you against monsters. What is this? A whip made with alchemy. It's stronger than any dead man's discarded sword. Alchemy? I'm not familiar with that word. Not surprising. The field experiments with the principles of God's creation of the world. The only person who truly understands it is Matthias. You know Lord Kronkvist? I have known him longer than you have. His family has a book of secret arts, originally handed down orally. Secret arts? I never knew. Of course not. Only a handful of people in this world know about it. There are some who consider alchemy to be heresy. I see. Are you one of them? No. If you are an acquaintance of Matthias, you are trustworthy. I will use this whip with gratitude. Put your left hand out. My left hand? Like this? Don't move now. That should do it. You can put it down now. What was that? The gauntlet is enchanted now. A spell? Some enemies' attacks release a special power. If you block them with the gauntlet, you can gather that power. What can I do with the gathered power? You'll be able to use magical relics by releasing that power. Magical relics? Right. Those who excel in magic can use them. I have cast the spell so that you can use them as well. I have some. You should be able to obtain them in the castle as well. I understand. 
Right now, this is all I can do for you. Rinaldo, thank you. Wait a minute, I forgot to tell you something. The door leading to his throne is guarded by five monsters. So I will need to defeat them first. That's right. That's essentially the test you must pass to fight him. What a bothersome... I told you before, to him, this is a game. I realize that, but... If you have troubles, come back here any time. They won't be free, but I'll keep potions on hand for you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Wait for me. I'm coming to save you.
Thank you.